Duval County School Board exploring the possibility of renaming six local schools. They've been named after Confederate leaders. They voted unanimously last night to begin a conversation. So News for Jackson reporter Ashley Harding is joining us live outside Robert E. Lee High School. Ashley, school leaders say they want to now hear from members of the community. Jen and Bruce, good morning to you both. Yes, Superintendent Dr. Diana Green is going to establish a method for renaming each, each building and people will be able to give their input. Now we're here live at Robert e. Lee, Robert e. Lee High School, excuse me, where you can see someone already has given their input. You can see that sign right there says, I heart Freebird High School. Well, Southern Rock fans know that Freebird is a song by Leonard Skinner, and several of the band members were students here at Robert E. Lee High School. And it's also known that the band members named their band after a gym teacher right here at Robert E. Lee High School. And Lee is just one of many schools that could be renamed. Last week, the city of Jacksonville surprised everyone when it removed the Hemming Plaza Confederate Monument without any formal advance notice. In a similar move, last night, Duval County School Board Chairman Warren Jones released this letter asking the board to begin discussions for renaming the six schools bearing the names of Confederate figures. The school leaders unanimously gave the green light. Demonstrators outside of the school board office said this is a long time coming and they're ready for the conversations to start. No one should have to go to school where the, the logo has a rebel flag in it or they're named after something derogatory or prejudice. The six schools which could be renamed are J.E.B. Stewart Middle School, Stonewall Jackson Elementary School, Joseph Finnegan Elementary School, Jefferson Davis Middle School, Edmund Kirby Smith Middle School, and Robert E. Lee High School. Others at the meeting said they did not support renaming the schools. While they didn't speak on camera, they told News for Jacks the school names represent history. Others said they are concerned about how much renaming could cost in taxpayer dollars. And many of you may remember some years back, Nathan B. Forrest High School was renamed to Westside High School. Now, now board members say as far as what to rename these schools, they still want to hear from the public about that for their input. Of course, we'll keep you updated on that next step in this process. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.